All right, it's that time once again for another Alteric Valley, June the 23rd, 2024. Looks like we got 20 Maniacs up in the house, and we are up against RR, it looks like. See, a lot of names over there we recognize. No Augie pre-made here, it's just Samuel for the Paladin. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. We're going to go ahead and sit right here. They're going to sit over there. I guess we're going to play the staring contest for a minute. <laughs> we're up against a pre-made stay together. I want to put my port up by IBT just in case they want to rush in here. Looks like we only have five healers, and they have a little bit more than us. They got like seven or eight, right? Infras is also in here. And yes, I remember this match vividly. <laughs> oh, yeah, we played some nice tricks on Infras here, that's for sure. They're trying to use the back door to get the graveyard. Well, uh-uh-uh, we already saw that one before. Try again. <laughs> We're over here defending it this time. A lot of times they'll come up here and they'll try and get a cap on it and then they can start wiping people and then we'll resurrect all the way at Frostwell Graveyard. Nope, not going to happen in this one here. They are pushing in pretty hard on the team fight, but we resurrect here still. So we'll have enough people that will start being here to defend the graveyard. As they die, they're going to res back there, finishing off their healers here. Yeah, buddy, looting bodies, making sure they don't reincarnate, and he does, and it's going to go down again. We'll take two kills on the same target. Balawell's up here as well. We got Hazy Blue Eyes back there, Kez Priest, and looks like an Evoker over there too. Some of them I don't know by name, but we've heard of a few of these names for sure. <laughs> I think Barry's in here as well, slash Borophil. What tune is he on? New Hotness. There it is, the Fire Mage. This was still back in the Dragon Flight when the Fire Mage was OP. Yeah, you could cast Living Bomb pretty much on any target you wanted, and it did shit ton of damage. We are wiping them here at the back door, though. They like trying to go up the back way. Naked's going to go up here, see if we can take them out. Survival Hunter and Melee Hunters, yeah, buddy. We're starting to catch up in score, though. Too many of them came back here. <laughs> now that we're resurrecting here, we can actually use people at the top to just start taking them out down the hill. They have Snowfall tapped. We got one rogue heading north, it looks like. And we have a mage in our base checking out there, making sure they don't try any stealthy craps. Looks like they only have a couple stealthy in here that might go down there. They have two boomies and one outlaw rogue, it looks like. Hey, we start taking them out here. That's a long run for them to come back. Even if they had snowfall, it's still pretty far for them to run. Looks like Barry got up here and got destroyed. Okay, we'll take that make sure all the bodies are looted. You don't want to see any rebirth action if you don't have to. There's one of their boomies. Let's see if we can get him out. Nope, he's got some heals on him right now. See if we can finish the warrior that's bladestorming right in here. Yeah, buddy, you outranged your heals on that one. There's the Pally Healer. We got them down. Samuel is probably closer to the tower. Seems like Samuel likes to get those towers and try to hide out in there and hold them and burn them. Obviously, they are really important because that's 100 points. I mean, if you can sit there and guard a tower until it burns, you just got your team 100 points. Doesn't matter if you got any kills there or not. You can be a healer and get 100 points, man, and be the MVP of the match. Dark Lily is down the hill there. They got several hunters down there still. I don't have that much range on my warlock here, so I got to be careful what I can hit and what I can't hit. Plus, I am clothy, so those hunters will tear you up for sure. Got to go ahead and recap IBT. They got the little quick cap. We got it back capped. We're still holding the choke point. Where is Infras at this point? Not even sure. Haven't seen him yet in this team fight. It's very interesting how Infras plays, though. He definitely doesn't like to play with other pre-mates on either team. Even when he mercs, man, he was pretty much will sit in the base and not do much there. Or guard one node at a time. He doesn't like to get in the middle of the team fight. Oh, he's going to go try to get Galv, though. Okay. Well, we'll fight him here at Galv. They only have a couple DPS. I'm porting him out. Oh, he ran out. <laughs> the stun didn't actually hold long enough, man. He had to trinket that stun to get out of there. Otherwise, I would have ported him back out. I probably need to start putting my port behind Galv, though, instead of off to the side. Obviously, it takes a little bit more time to set up properly, but once it's there, it's going to be a lot more useful. They got two healers and infers in here. Let's get these heals out of here. Put some kill targets on everybody. Infers is leaving now because he realizes all of his DPS is down, and he's not going to be able to take down Galv right now. And looks like the healers are starting to run too now that they realize they have no tank. And they are the tanks. 
<laughs> Goodbye, Shaman. Gal, I've got a kill there. Or no, I got that kill. Okay, let's finish off the pally too. Everything's cleaned up. We are pushing a little bit into the field. We are ahead in score by just a very tiny margin right now. I'm going to use Gateway to get in front of that Warlock to get over here back to the graveyard. They did get a tap on it. Infers is here, so we're going to have to have a bunch of people to here to take him out. It's not as hard to take him out in Alterac Valley as it is in Ashran, because on Ashran, on the road buff, you get all them extra buffs and double HP. I'm going to port him a couple times, see if I can stun him. Oh, I missed the stun because the Shadow Fury has too long of a cast time. I'll use a coil, though. We got the graveyard back anyway, so he's just wasting time. <laughs> oh, man. You really only need, like, one or two people here to mess with him because he doesn't have the DPS to take anybody out. So if you just have one DPS interrupting him from capping, he'll never be able to cap anything. Sure, he can take out the guard slowly but surely, and he might live for a ton, but he's never going to ever cap because you can just interrupt him with just one person, and he won't be able to kill that one person either. We do take advantage of this later on in the match, and it makes him pretty ticked off from what we could tell. <laughs> Heading back to IBT, though, because they got a tap on it. Got to make sure I got the port still, running around the back, putting it up. I like to put it right here. That's pretty far for him to run. Plus, if they're in combat, they can't mount up right away. And even if they do mount up, they're not going that far. Now they're trying to push hard into the choke. I'm going to glide her back out. We already back capped IBT. Heading over this way to make sure we hold this graveyard. We got some pressure on up north. We got SHB tapped and North Bunker tapped, too. That's going to be a lot of fun for them. They'll have to recall for north, but they'll be able to just go straight from Snowfall to SHB. That's still a pretty good haul, though. They got some trying to come up the backside now, of course. They're going to try again. Here comes Barry and Naked and Samuel. Ah, I got root beamed. Yuck. I didn't have to trick it, though. So that's good news. And I got Cocoon, so they're not killing me. Barry goes down. Let's take out Kez. Kez is running. Nice Chaos Bolt. I didn't get the kill, but hey, it happens. Sometimes you get that long cast off and the target dies before it connects. Finish off Hazy Blue. Yeah, buddy. Got him cleaned out. Naked's down, too. Yeah, it the back door action is not working out so well for you all tonight. <laughs> Granted, like I said, the score is neck and neck, man. We're doing pretty good here. They obviously are having some problems up north. I'm going to have to fall back a little bit because I got focused there. Still haven't died yet, so that means our healers are on point for sure. We only have five healers, too. Just imagine that. Our five healers are tearing it up right now, man. <laughs> Keeping us alive, helping us win this team fight. This was a very long match, if I recall. I want to say it was over an hour long, and I know I kept about 30 minutes of it right here, so I hope you're in here for the long haul because this is a long video, but it was a hell of a match for sure. We got it mostly cleared. Got to head back to Galv again. Enfers is over here once again. Okay, They got Galv down to 50% this time, so there's a little bit more of a scare, but I think we still got it. Problem is, is they have Snowfall, with them having Snowfall, they got easy access to Galv, you know. So you kind of got to have somebody watching both spots. Infra's Glider's out of here. He's scared. He's running. Need to hold at least one mine, if not both. Rogues should do that trick to bounce back and forth between North, South, and their mines for sure. And just try to keep stealth, man. All you want to do is keep their healers up there. If you can split their healers, we should be fine. Now we're taking back East and West. It's easy mode. We got them both back. Back to the team fight in mid here. Infers is actually in the team fight. That's a first, right? You don't hardly ever see him in the team fight in Alterac Valley. <laughs> oh, just don't focus him, man. We'll be fine. We got four people targeting him, including me. I'm swapping, though. Pull them all together there. Nice. Got that displacer. Can't use those anymore. They got rid of that in the War Within. It does not work once you hit level 71. 70 and under only. You can sell them on the auction house for like 10 gold. That's about all they're worth now, right? Because nobody wants them, and people that do want them don't realize that they don't work anymore yet. <laughs> so you got to unload them fast, that's for sure. Man, they're all clumped up here. We should get a bunch of HKs out of this. Lots and lots of AoE going off, man. I really wish I was better at Warlock AoE, man, with destruction here. That's just not my thing, though. That's why my name's Life's Too Port. Oh, I got gripped in. He's going to try to kill me. I'm going to go down. That's fine. You can take me so out of the fight, but you're not going to take the fight out of the dog, right? Or how's ever the saying goes. <laughs> in any case, we're going to grip some people in and take them out too. Is this just going to be a fight here? 
It's going to be like old school, just a fight in the field of strife. We're almost 20 minutes in. Nobody has killed Galb. Nobody has killed Belinda. And we have not burned anything anywhere. Nothing is burned at all. We have one mine. They have one mine. So everything is pretty much equal. Look at the kills, too. 599 to 605. Let's take out the ones in the back here before they get back into the hero's range. Ah, oh, we're not going to get them out. Looks like their top damage is a Hunter, Nabumi, and then Trooper, New Hotness. Those are their four top on their team. This is the Boomy right now. That was number two. Watch out, getting rifted. Nope, not rifted today. Ran out. That's how you got to do it. New Hotness is off to the side. I don't have a port for another 30 seconds yet, but let's kill Balawell. <laughs> he didn't have a port anyway, so doesn't really matter, but he's down. Got to run back from Snowfall. Let's take out the Shaman on the left. Balawell is going to go ahead and use a Soul Stone. Fine. We'll go ahead and take a second kill. Hey, anytime they resurrect like that, they come back with like 20% health. Just quickly focus them, and that will be a second kill for you. They're getting kills too, though, so like I said... Everybody is focused firing in this one. This is one for the history books for sure. Pre-made versus pre-made. Granted, it's not full pre-made versus full pre-made, but it's definitely at least half, I would say, on both teams. There's a lot of people on their side we recognize, and you see all the names that come up in the beginning from our matches because I always put everybody in the starring list at the very beginning. Yep, run out of the Shadow Rift. Just keep fighting here. It's a team fight. This is the old school way to fight in AV, right? Everybody wants to have that big team fight in the field of strife. <laughs> Infra's passing. Infra's passed. Uh-oh, where'd he go? I got to go back and follow him. I'm going to have to see where he went. I was getting hit up anyway, so that probably was what I needed to do. Looks like I'm going to have to go back to IBT. We're slowly falling back now. We only got a 10-point lead at this particular spot in the match. Tower points got 320. Shoot. I need to leave here, man, and just port. That's what I need to do. Especially if it's Infra's inside of IBT. <laughs> because that might be a problem. Once he's got it tapped or whatever, it's really hard to actually get it back without porting him out or running him out with a mind control. Obviously, if he uses his anti-magic shell properly and you don't have two warlocks, he can pretty much immune your port every single time. But we'll see how it goes. We have more people that are heading back there. Hopefully it's fine. I don't recall what happened next in this match because it was quite a bit of time ago. But I do recall it was very lengthy and we did end up winning. So, <laughs> And it was pretty fun making fun of Infra's what happens later on in this match. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty nice. First time we ever did something like that. They only got three in here. See if we can get them knocked out and ported. There they are, ported and knocked out. Got it back capped. Sweet. That's how you do it. Empress is back at the graveyard. They got it tapped again. Now we're going to have to kill him or get him away. Need to find a good spot to port here. If I find someplace good, I can port him far away from the flag. Then we could actually try and get it capped. Because as soon as it ports, I could use a coil to fear him and then just immediately fear again right after that, right? And then maybe drop a stun on top, too. He's got a friend here, too. Balawell's up here. So we got to take him out. Two of them here. Need a little bit more help. We got people that are coming back from the middle team fight. Got to tap on Icewing. They got to tap on RIBT. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure back and forth. We have their mine up north now, though. <laughs> so you can see the score gap is actually going in our favor because we are gaining and they are not. We're gaining two every 30 seconds. They are not gaining any. Got to get Infras out of here to cap, though, man. Someone disarm Infras. You don't want to disarm him until he gets low HP. Obviously, if you're fighting a Blood DK, you got to disarm when they get down to like 20%. And then make sure you can stun them right after immediately, too. Because if they get any kind of globals off, they can just heal themselves pretty much back to full. Especially if they can hit Vampiric Blood and some other cooldowns. I ported him here. Oh, I should have coiled. Coiled a little late. He tried to glider. <laughs> We got him. Now he hits anti-magic shell, but we already got the graveyard back. <laughs> oh, man, that's fun. Yeah, buddy, he didn't like that at all. He used a glider, though. Did you see that? That was funny. He tried to run and jump and glider back to the graveyard to try to interrupt us from capping it back, but failed. Now, see if we can get in here and port. We may not have to port. Demon Hunter is pretty much history here, and it looks like the priest is running around. We should be able to take them out. Yep, priest is out. And recap, 
Easy mode, got everything back cap. Stay over here because they are on Galv. We gotta go in and save Galv. Uh-oh, getting pulled back. <laughs> He's gripping us away. We're getting pulled in by the static totems. Yeah. I need to turn health bars on for totems, I guess. That's probably my next thing I need to really do here. Because you gotta see that static totem, because that's one totem you really need to kill, because it just will keep sucking you back away. We are wiping them here. They are getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gap in the score, man. If they keep coming to Russian Gov, man, we'll just keep getting points, right? <laughs> that double tap on South Bunker and Ice Wing is nice too, man. That's going to make them have to fall back. They're going to have to leave Snowfall. Yeah. Bleed them out. Bleed them out. Okay. Farm them down, man. Our team has obviously got a little bit more damage than them. They got a little bit more healing than us. But to be fair, our healing is on point pretty good too. We're almost tied. So it's almost an exact fair fight match team here. Even though we have less healers. We have one tank, they have one tank. It's pretty much the same game, right? Now we're back in the mine here. Oh, it looks like Infers is in here too. Well, we did a trick where Infers here. He's going to sit here and try to hold the mine because he knows the mine is giving him points. Well, the thing is, if you just kill the NPC... Two hours later... If you just kill the NPC over and over in the mine, look at all them deaths there, you won't actually get any points from it. So we just basically had someone sit in the mine and just keep killing the NPC over and over. I'm going to skip all that footage there because it took us a little bit to figure that one out. <laughs> a couple minutes there, but in any case, we had somebody stay back there and they're just basically killing the NPC over and over. Infers is never going to kill them, but they'll never kill him either. So all you got to do is keep flipping the NPC. The NPC counts up reinforcements every 30 seconds, so as long as it doesn't sit there for 30 seconds, neither side will get any points from it. So it pretty much completely neutralized Infers. <laughs> we basically kept him inside of our mine for 20 minutes, and they got nothing out of it. Granted, we didn't get any points out of the mine either, but at least, like I said, they didn't get any either, and we got him out of the team fight, so we didn't have to worry about any of our team focus firing him. I'm heading back to IBT. Got a DK up in the house. Feared him out. Try and cap. He's going to come back. I'm going to wait for the port. Is he coming in? Stun and port. There's the port. Is he going to anti-magic shell? No, he's not. Okay. He didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah, that's one way the DKs can get out of it, but a lot of them don't realize it. So he's stuck back here, I guess. He didn't realize what happened. So let's take him out and get him out of the picture. We're going to push snowfall maybe a little bit. No, they got too many up there. Maybe we can get some damage, though. Let's see. Sometimes you got to do a double take, right? And turn around. <laughs> Rogues at north. This mine is not producing anything. Get thirst. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Shruka is in our mine. Messing with Infers. Like I said, Infers is never going to kill him. And he's never going to kill Infers. But they're not going to get any kind of things from their resources. So we need to get their mine for sure. Granted, the score is pretty much heavily in our favor now. We're not quite 100 points up yet, but it's getting there. We're back to fighting in the team fight now because we're pretty confident how it's going. Hey, once you got the confidence and you got the momentum on your side, then you can start pushing into them, right? That's how the team fights are supposed to work. You don't want to just sit back and wait all the time because you got to have put some pressure up whenever you got it. I'm getting hit up pretty good. I'm falling back. Let's get Hazy out of here. Goodbye, Hazy. Spike next. Spiked ice is down. And we got healer right here. They still spawn at Snowfall if they die right here, though, right? I think that graveyard is closer, so they will resurrect at Snowfall. Maybe we can make a good push to Stonehearth Graveyard. Very possible here. Troopers down. That's one of their top DPS. We got New Hotness over there. That is their second top DPS. Barry, our Borophil. It's pretty fun fighting against him, man, because he's always on both sides. He plays everything. <laughs> He's got a lot of different classes he plays too. You always want to make sure you focus him down because whatever he's on, he's definitely doing some damage. <laughs> or some healing if he's on his healer, I guess. Finish off their chamois healer now. Cat's Hand. Cat's Hand does a lot of healing too. Getting them down. The shaman healing is OP, especially if they are grouped up. But this shaman's off by himself right now, so he couldn't get a whole lot of heals off there. We got another one we're chasing down. I'm not going to trinket that fear. Kill Vix. Vix is down. We are pushing the graveyard now. Now they got most of their team focused up here. They're going to pull us in with that static totem. And we got Cat's Hand up here once again. A hunter off to the right side. 
Man, I don't know. This is probably one of the worst places to push right there against a pre-made up that hill. We don't really want to fight too much here, but hey, we're still getting kills, so that's all that matters, I guess. Take down 100. Don't let him get away. Got him. Nice. Yep. Hey, we are making progress up the hill, though. We get close enough to this building, their people on top won't be able to do damage to us because we'll be out of their LOS, and we can just fight the ones down there. I'm going to go in the house, put up my demonic circle just in case we get an opportunity to do a port. Yeah, they know that. I'm tricking in that hush. <laughs> I knew what that's going to be. <laughs> Samuel obviously knew too. Porting him back. He's running back in. I don't know if I got anybody or not, but it was still fun to do. <laughs> Granted, I wasted a one-minute cooldown. But now I got to go back to IBT anyway, so by the time I get back to IBT, up, oh, it's already been back kept. <laughs> I was going to say my port would be back. It looks like a hunter went stealth here. Where'd he go? Can we get him out? Don't see where the hunter went. His pet was over here. Couple mages to deal with. Infers is still getting manhandled back in our cave. He's got the top healing in the whole match now. Look. <laughs> Struka is back there doing some damage to it, man. <laughs> He's gotten off a lot of hills, but like I said, it's not doing him one lick of good, man, because we just keep killing the NPC over and over. They're not getting any points from the mine whatsoever. They are getting points from the mine up north. Now we're going to see about going to Belinda here. Maybe we can get some push on Belinda while we got a big push on Stone Earth Graveyard. They got a couple coming in here. Oh, a healer, hunter, and a monk. I fear the healer. Let's see if we can take out the hunter, maybe... Get enough damage on the hunter quick. I'm going to try to fear the healer once again. Oh, he's going to go stealth. Shoot, too late. I didn't get that stun off fast enough. Get a fear off again. Fear is on DR now, so we just need to kind of do some damage. See if we can take him out. If they want to sit in the room here, let's just fight him. Get some damage on him. Try to get the chaos bolts to the face. Yeah, buddy. Goodbye, healer. Get some damage on Belinda here. We get Belinda down. This is a free 100 points, man. This is what we need right here. They got to tap on West in our base. Hey, get this 100 points, man. There it is. Nice. That gives us a comfortable lead. Obviously, they're going to have to start changing their plan now because we are up by over 100 and something points now. They're going to have to try and pull a Hail Mary. So we're going to recall back to our base. It's Infers now. He finally leaves the cave. <laughs> he finally left the cave and came over to West Tower here. Kill these people that are coming in. Get them out of here. I'm going to put my port way over here now. Now let's see if we can get Infers ported out. Got to make sure he uses anti-magic shell and port him, right? I'm going to use a displacer, pull him there, knock them out. <laughs> oh, the hunter just gets his way back in, but gets knocked out. Perfect. We're back capping West with a minute 40 to go. Nice. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and he gets death coiled. <laughs> and he's going to glider out of here. We're going to glider after him. Oh, you gripped him back in. I had to turn around in midair. <laughs> oh, man. You know he's pissed, man. We're shutting him down every single which way from Sunday, man. <laughs> got to get my port up in IBT because they got some action in here once again. They got a tap on West. And looks like they got IBT back before I could do anything. Our base has already been back capped too. We're going to take out the Hunter in the choke point. Yeah, buddy. 231 to 411 is the score. We are just dominating here, man. That was nice getting that Galv kill. Infers is here at the choke point. Let's take him out, man. We have more than enough people here that can do enough damage to kill him here. There's no way he can survive all this. This is an Ashran, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye. He gets a death. He's got the top healing, though. 456 million healing. Going to head back in here and check on Gal, make sure he's okay. Yeah, Gal's fine. Got him targeted now. He's got 100%. No one's fighting him. Perfect. Putting the gateway up this way. In case they have some action there, we got people that are standing out front. They can use this gateway to come back up here. They're just basically staring us down right now. They see the numbers ticking down. We are 57 minutes into the match here. <laughs> Reinforcements have been ticking down for a long time. Now we have our mine. They have their mine, so the mines are equal. They're coming into the team fight. 161 points left to go, man. Let's do this. We're fighting here in the team fight for all the marbles. Battle. Let's go. Battle stances. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Big time incoming by Galv area. You know they want to try and wipe us here and kill Galv for 100 points. Even if they did, we're still ahead by almost another 100 points. They're going to have to do some massive burning here if they want to actually get back into this match. Hey, 
Very nice match. Red Wind has got 320 million damage. New Hotness is on his ass, though. 313. <laughs> Scarecrow at 278. Attraction is at 268. Hayes, 250. And Zondra, 227, man. Hey, almost everybody in the top 10 has got over 200 million damage. And this is before the War Within, where you can actually do a shit ton more damage, even. Hell, I see Boomies in the War Within hitting almost 2 billion in Ashran now, right? <laughs> And that's without the AA. Imagine if they get a hold of that AA and get a nice, sweaty, spicy match. Kill Trooper. No, he's going to disengage away. Kill Altsy. Yeah, Altsy's down. Got root beamed. Buddy. Finish off the Paladin next. Just focus them down one by one now. Every 10 seconds they're losing reinforcements. We are over an hour into the match. <laughs> yeah. This was a very fun match, man. And like I said, Infra's he's gotten so tired of this match, he ends up leaving the match, or he just sits at Stonehearth Graveyard the entire match, I think, right? Because he's no longer in the team fight. He's not going south anymore. He's not trying to get Galb. He's not trying to get any towers. He's not trying to get our mine. <laughs> he's not doing a damn thing. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, man. We totally neutralized him here, man. He had no idea what we were doing. And then... Took him 20 minutes to figure out, oh, I'm not getting anything for this mine, and I'm just sitting here wasting time. <laughs> That's why he went to our base to try to hold west, but we still sent enough people back. Got him knocked out of there with that displacer. I guess the displacer is probably the only thing it was really good for a single target like that is pulling people out of the towers. Granted, you can't use that anymore, so we're going to have to use something else. Gonna need some DKs to do their slappy hands and grip them out of there, and then we can knock them back maybe and have the DK jump off and have them grip further. I don't know. Because if you do a knockback when they're up there and the DK is using a bomb limb, won't he just pull them back? Probably, probably. Balowell is by themselves over here. Yep. Hey, they're all at Snowfall now. Let's just push Snowfall, right? We have a commanding lead in score. If we push Snowfall from here, that basically takes the play out of their hands where they don't have to go to Galv. And we can do this and get the rest of the kills too. They'll resurrect there. They'll have the high ground, but it still will be a nice fight. So let's do it. That's the call. All in the snowfall by Miso. Life's to port. All in snowfall. Throw them off. Burn cooldowns. Blast them. That's what Struka had to say. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Turn around here. We're getting pulled in. Oh, we nice. We ported a couple of them. Let's get them out of here. Hazy's down. We're getting new hotness next. And let's start pushing up further. We're actually making progress onto the flag here. Some of them are getting close to that edge over there. If we can get some good knockbacks, they might all just fall right off the cliff there and die. Fall damage, right? Hazy's coming back. we got to slow them down coming back in too. New hotness is up here on top of the flag. Get that monk down. Hey, we might be able to even cap here. And then again, maybe we shouldn't cap and we just sit there and get the rest of the kills because it's only 52 points left. Every 10 seconds goes down by another one too, so we only need probably about 40 kills here in about 4 minutes. Ah, someone capped anyway. We were going to go ahead to the graveyard and just get the rest of them, but that's okay. We got the cap on it. Finished killing them here. That's a few extra ones. 29 points left to go. Let's go ahead and push Shiggy, man. Put all the marbles in. Let's do it. Incoming Ice Flood Graveyard Backdoor and Galv. They are really desperate here. <laughs> They're trying to pull a Hail Mary, so we had to fall back. Otherwise, I would have been all in at Stone Earth Graveyard. You know that. We left Snowfall completely unguarded, so they can always go and get that back. Got the flag in your ass, Balowell. Got a warrior in the front here in the midfield. Galv is safe or whatever. Now I'm going to head back up to the north. We only got a few kills to go by the time I got up here. Let's focus some heals down maybe. Important some. Altsy's going to die in the back here. Yep. One more. Who's going to be the last victim? It wasn't anybody. It was down to reinforcements ticking down there. Looks like Redwind had the top damage. Frameth for the top heals. Beat out Infers. And Infers did, like I said, set at the end of the match there at Stone Earth Graveyard the entire time by himself. Looks like I went 21 and 2. Scarecrow pre made 43 and 0. Look at the hunters all in the top, man. Holy shit. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.